Sometimes ideas and solutions come to us with little to no effort. In fact, we may even solve problems while doing a leisure activity but at the same time struggle to find one at work. To many this may seem as a mysterious force. Luckily, no magic is needed. Albeit, there is magic in decision-making and especially structured decision-making with models tested under a lot of pressure. The most important criteria for decision-making in problem-solving is effectiveness and efficiency, two concepts which define the study of businesses as a whole. Effectiveness refers to choosing the right goals and tasks to focus on, ensuring that what you're doing is aligned with the bigger picture of the problem and objectives. Efficiency is about optimizing processes and resource utilization to achieve goals with minimal resource waste and thus increasing productivity in an economical manner. The second factor to take into consideration is the importance of understanding decision-making models. Many individuals take models for granted without exploring the underlying reasons behind their widespread use. Are they really helpful for problem solving or is it their simplicity that made them widely popular? Models are systems which turn inputs, the data surrounding a problem into outputs solutions. This hints that the quality of outputs solutions depend on the data provided and the quality of the model for decision making. Something else to take into account are the time frames of decision making. This is a matter of examining decision making consequences. Since we do not always know if some solutions work until we try them, one must ask themselves how will a decision affect their company in the long run as well as in the short run. For example, implementing a solution which only focuses on the short run can prove catastrophic in the long run. Planning goes along with proper decision making. To sum up, Problem solving is directly related to decision making as good strategy is required to tackle the most difficult issues. This also explains why from the bottom to the top of the company everyone is doing problem solving. Executives, in their high ranks, are the ones responsible for business strategy. And speaking of executives, have you heard of Peter Drucker's famous title, The Effective Executive? We suggest that you read the book as it is a business classic and will put you in a great mindset for problem solving. Congratulations on watching this video. Now that we have defined what you are expected to learn at this advanced level for problem solving, we you are now ready to proceed with additional resources and material on the interface platform. It all comes together with each element of knowledge complementing the other.